In 2006, two institutes were created, one in ISAR Kolkata and one is ISAR Pune. And then it was followed by ISAR Mohali in 2007 and 2008, two more ISARs were added. There are one at ISAR Bhopal and then ISAR Tiruvananthapuram. Our flagship program is the integrated five-year-long BS MS dual degree program. That's the one which actually right at this moment we are placing most stress on. Is that in the first couple of years students get a feel of all the possible major subjects that they can take. In the sense that uh, students do not decide on what they are going to major in immediately after passing the higher secondary, which is typical honors program. Students study in the first year in either Kolkata, they study all the five potential major subjects that we offer, that is uh, mathematics, physics, chemistry, earth science, life science. What is different in either Kolkata this time is that we have decided that from the second year onwards, students are going to take three pre-major courses out of the five. And out of one of them, they're going to choose the major course at the end of the second year. Our feeling has always been, apart from the fact that interdisciplinarity is the ma major goal in our modern science, so it's important for the students to learn different branches of science. Apart from th that, there's also this feeling that uh, students at the, right after the higher secondary is usual, are usually not in a position to actually gauge properly what, where their aptitudes lie. So here we give them the opportunity of at least delaying the decision for two more years after seeing all the possible things that we have in offer to choose their major accordingly. We also lay a lot of stress on actual hands-on research while even their undergraduate courses are going on. I'm doing my summer project uh, in a, when we have a three months break, three months or two and two and a half. Uh, months break, we do our summer project here, which will be included in our experience, work experience, when we apply for our PhD and all. The stress in the fifth year is entirely on a year-long project in which they are supposed to do original work. The unique feature of ISAR Kolkata has been, we initiated or started a program of integrated Bachelor of Science, Master of Science on Earth and environmental sciences. This department will allow us to keep us connected with mother nature. So whatever is going on on the earth, surroundings, climates, these are all associated. Geochemistry, these are the activities of this department. Here we have three distinct streams of admission right now. Firstly, students who pass the KVPY program, they are one of our streams. Students who rank highly in the IIT exams, entrance exams, the IIT JEE, they are also one other stream. And then we have this final stream, which is called the State and Central Board Scheme, where we invite the Inspire Fellowship holders to actually give an aptitude test. This is simply so that we can actually sort of equalize the level. The five IIACs joined together to form a joint admission committee. And the chairmanship of that, this committee is handled by a different IIAC every year. So the integrated PhD program, for this we hold an examination. Each uh, IISA takes, takes students separately for the integrated PhD program. A plot then you could probably show me to see to for me to figure out how is the TSI the reconstructed TSI okay, or yes, uh, is varying with with time again agree is quite well except uh, this cycle here how will we average this data set you know over a long time period it doesn't really matter it still is a very good uh, very good reconstruction so we do study uh, various fundamental aspects of light matter interaction but one of our goal is to use uh, such studies for biomedical applications. So what we call this as biophotonics, that is application of uh, light scattering based methods for biomedical diagnosis. One of the area that they are working on is on early diagnosis of cancer using light scattering spectroscopy. The very first year we had around 39 students. Some of them, when they came in, were a bit depressed because 
after all they had missed the chance to get into an iit which is the standard gold standard nowadays it seems but many of them were very enthusiastic and we found that at least by the end of two years when they started their majors most of them became very very enthusiastic about their courses and uh, it was very gratifying to see that students who had never done biology say in their first or second years quite a large chunk of them actually took up biology major life science majors and some of them are doing very very well in research in biology nowadays I am uh, basically focusing on uh, the different components of social behavior of zebrafish and uh, now I am carrying on the experiments on uh, the aggression behavior especially in males. When I came to ISR it was still pretty new, it was only the third year and it was a difficult choice for me between IIT and uh, IISR. But the one reason that I chose IISR is because it is an institute which was explicitly uh, built for the study of science and research which is what I wanted to do. In my opinion, research is usually done through three channels. One is, you would like to do what you don't know, curiosity-driven research. Second one is, you do research where there is a synergism with the industry. You see, industry expects some, something from the academic institutions. So academic institutions should provide that know-how. And, and a, a business organization would like to utilize them. And the third one is one should do research which has the direct relevance of the society. So I'm very proud of the fact that this department of art sciences is one of them which shall be able to deliver something which will become obvious to the common man what this institute is doing. For basic sciences, the way things are happening in, across the globe particularly if we take the North American universities or European universities, without top-notch equipment, high-end equipment, it is impossible to do research on par with the developments of the world. If you impart angular momentum to the light, the particle tends to spin. Now that spin is uh, can be observable on the TV, uh, on the computer monitor. There. This is uh, low temperature. Uh, magnetic property measurement systems, this can go down to 2 Kelvin, uh, which is minus 271 degrees centigrade. And the highest magnetic field that it can achieve is about 7 Tesla. We had actually thought at the beginning that we would be happy if say 50% of our students continue into research. We find that the number is a lot higher actually, which is very gratifying. The project I am working on is essentially studying all the diversity that we have in the entire Indian coastline. So we move around different places. We go to the uh, sea, sea source and then collect the shells and the samples. Moreover, we also go, uh, do trawling and move into the sea. And apart from that, we move uh, to go for scuba diving to collect samples which we miss out in any of those cases. Yes. We have been using the VLearn system for the last one semester, but I'm not very sure everybody is very well aware of all the details of what to do. So could you just enlighten us on that? Yeah, so basically to have our course management uh, on the web as well as like student and teacher interaction, like giving assignments, uploading assignments. 
teacher and uh, student can themselves upload their answers uh, to those assignment online and it has actually is based on an open source software system called Moodle which we use across the globe actually in many different educational institutes. At the moment, I am I am not sitting in any any studio. I don't have any yes. uh, uh, um, uh, VC, VC equipment. All I am sitting is at in front of my desktop. Absolutely. And so he's actually using a desktop. We are giving an opportunity that whatever these young minds they have returned from the foreign countries after finishing their PhDs or postdocs and serving the institute as a faculty, they will create a bond with the students, so the students get benefited by the presence of these faculty members and they get excited of doing fundamental research and eventually I hope that these young minds, the students, they get their graduate degrees, PhD degrees from this institute, then they go abroad and eventually they return and serve this great country called India.